Oh, I just thought maybe I'd give you a little bit of a look of what, uh, well, it's the park that uh, Zoe and I used to uh, take Marley, our dog, who, uh, well, she's not around that way anymore. She's hanging out in the backyard in a different form. Um, it's kind of weird. I was thinking about that, actually, after, you know, thinking about, like, you know, when, when, you know, when I die or whatever, I want, when anybody dies, really, and I was trying to also remind myself of, um, you know, thinking about before, uh, before, you know, when I was born, and thinking like, I don't know, maybe that's like a, you know, I used to be the, you know, we're now like air breathers, and before we used to be the water breathers, and, you know, I can't remember any part, I can't remember what it was like to be a water breather, and I'm in a completely different world now, I'm, you know, I'm an air breather, like, with all the other air breathers, and don't remember what it was like, and then I'm going to die, and it's going to be something else, and I won't remember any of this. It's fascinating. Well, I mean, it's, I won't be a me, you know, still be me, but in a different way. Just, it's just fascinating for me. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm glad I took the day off. I was, uh, well, I still am. I know that I'm physically fragile. I can feel it. It's even like a little bit mentally, I think, just resting. Like it was weird to to be accepting of rest, just lying down and doing absolutely nothing. And my brain was like, there was a part of me that was like, um, <clears throat> um, freaking out, going, oh my god, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything with the work, or, or I mean, um, with work, with the, uh, um, working towards the live stream and all that stuff and the game and and everything, but, um, yeah, I said, you need to rest, but I'll tell you one thing, I did run into, um, hold on, just in case, no, hopefully I don't run into anyone, um, that school over there, you can't really see it, that's the school that you always hear, if, uh, when I was doing videos in the backyard, that you would hear people chat in a way, um, oh, hold on, there's my neighbor, I better hit pause, because he just, he never shuts up, here, maybe I'll show you a bit of my front yard now, which is a bloody mess from hell. I like it, but most people don't. There's all kinds of interesting little plants going on around here. See? Trust me, there's... Oh, those are the globe thistle. Flippin' love them when they spread like hell. There's a beautiful apple tree that we didn't even know we had. Because there was vines growing. There's another crab apple. Yep, and you can see some wild... Flowers are about to kick in. Well, right here, look. Like, why would I get rid of them? That's just silly. This is the choke cherry. It's been spreading like hell. I should be, um, should have put it in the front. I didn't know it was spread. I mean, look at it. Not bad here. Yeah. I'm still sniffly. But I will say this. Hold on. Hope you can see that. I love those little guys. Nice and, yeah, the, oh, there's my jack in the pulpit still around. Can you kind of see it? Hold on, I'll try to get bigger. There. See it? Right there. Right under there. There we go. Right at the bottom. Really hard to grow. You know, I better show you the backyard or parts of the backyard before the ferns go because this is as good as they're going to get. Um, I'm amazed that they actually made it. We had a really hot uh, spot. You can see the difference in color, the variation there. Uh, the tips are getting a little light green, so you can tell they're already starting to toast out. And in a few weeks, we're going to have the Japanese beetle uh, coming out, and they just love chewing the crap out of the, the out of the ferns. The lovely thing about the Japanese beetle is their um, escape mechanism is to just drop um, and then and then fly away, kind of thing, which is wonderful. So I just put a bowl of soapy water underneath, and I'm like. Uh, if you go into the pool, you go, boys and girls. So here's all the bee balm. It hasn't flowered yet, obviously. And this is the first time I've ever seen it so short. Um, it's usually way, way, way taller, like as tall as the ferns. So I don't know what in the world is going on this year. It's maybe a good thing because the problem with the bee balm is um, it becomes so top-heavy with the flowers. I find that... Uh, when the rain hits them and whatnot, and uh, they just fall down, and it just sucks. So I'm gonna have to put on some um, rope or something like that. I keep thinking I'm gonna do it every year, and I don't. But uh, yeah, so they're doing great. And then, um, yeah, look at that. 
that, eh? Just freaking just love these guys, man. Look at that. Look at that. Just a whole other world in there. Just love it. And then, uh, where's the Creeping Charlie? That I just planted a little while ago. It's from the Con Conservation Society. A lot of pollinators. There's some beautiful freaking... Uh, is that the globe thistle? I don't think so. I have to be careful. I'm there's a lot of a uh, lot of strawberries. See, a lot of strawberries growing, I'm getting there. Anyways, yeah, I know it's a. Okay, look, I'll tell you how I uh, how I view my backyard. I know it's a mess. I hate killing things, but on the flip side, from when I took conservation biology back in uni, um, one of the guiding things they always used to say was, um, you know, for conservation biology to keep 15% of the uh, in, in the environment um, untouched, let let nature do their thing, and um, I'm of the opinion of uh, yeah, this is all for Leo, so he doesn't go berserk. Um, uh, so I, I I flip it on its head. I'm like um, I take 15% for myself and give 85% back to uh, I just let let things do it in minor whatever bits, but that's about it. Uh, I will say on a side note. Hold on. I'll pick this up at the dollar store. I'm going to try and see if I can turn it into some kind of, um, see if it'll work as a dice tower. I don't know if it will, but it'd be neat. And then I saw these. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I picked up as many as I could that they had. Um, yeah, I counted them several times, the sides. I'm like, okay, is this a hex? Is this a hex? Um, geez, man. It's, this is a chalkboard. Um, but this is just a whatever. But I was like, okay, I'm taking as many as I can home. I don't know what they're going to do with them, but, uh. They're hexes. That's about it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot on a side note here. I'll just hold on. Maybe I should stare at a map or something. I did do some Der Valkrieg-ish stuff. I uh, swapped out. I uh, put in this um, so I can really start getting going. Um, yeah, so I'm at the dollar store, and I just, I don't know how it happened. I just started chat chit-chatting with some lady there. I was in the craft section, and... Um, she was mentioning, talking about, oh, she, she mentioned something about the binder having enough smiley faces. And, um, you know, she's like, could they vary the, f I mean, could they have varied the faces? And I was like, oh, I guess I could have had maybe a couple like perplexed or one that doesn't want to do your homework, that type of stuff. But we started chit chatting and then um, she was mentioning that um, she's like 70 and her boyfriend's 80. And, and at the very end, she goes, uh, and then she goes, oh, I hope you don't mind me saying. And she walks over to me again and then says, uh, don't, um, don't uh, ever forget that it's never too late for this, the heart to sing. I was like, wow, what a beautiful thing to say. But it was like, okay, thanks. Um, but um, on the flip side, I will say this. And I'm like, you know, Chris, you really do, um, what do you call it? Um, you push it with, uh, you push it with your body, man. Like, and it's going to bite you in the ass one of these days because, I mean, um, anyways, I was just like, you know, I looked at her and she's 70 and I'm 56 and I was like, mm, you don't look all that much different than her, man. And uh, I was thinking, holy shit. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. I mean, chronological age versus uh, physical age are two different things. And, um, you know, I was like, you know, you gotta be, if you want to continue doing, um, gaming in World War One for a long, long time, you better smarten up. Um, you know, that type of thing. Cause I just, uh, like I said, I like, I, I try as hard as I can to not sleep, basically. Um, I, that's the be, the main thing. I'm like, I just, it's um, enemy number one, basically. It just drives me up the flipping tree. So I try as hard as I can not to, but I mean, it's just like, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get it. And it's not like I said, it's not like I've got a ton of fat reserves. So if I get, you know, that's it. It's, you know, bones and organs. It's like, that's when it'll start to digest. Oh, brother. I know it sounds weird, but tough. Okay, that's the way it goes. See ya.